Hi everyone, this is Heather Lawtonen from the Flourish Academy, where our goal is to empower, educate, and elevate you to create a life that you love through the art and business of photography. In this video, we are going to correct under eye issues in Lightroom, but first, make sure you check out our sponsor, ymcamera.com for all of your photography needs. And before we correct this issue, let me just say that really what we're looking at here are shadows. Shadows are the absence of light. And I believe that most under eye issues can be corrected with proper lighting because look at her face here. None of these were lit with a reflector. This was all ambient light and none of these images have been corrected. But what a difference between this photo and say this photo or even this one. It makes a huge difference how you see and use light. So please be careful and do the best you can to eliminate it in camera. But we're going to work on this image here. I'm going to zoom in on this photo significantly, even though no one needs to see their pores this close. Let's access the spot removal tool by pressing Q on the keyboard. Now there are two options for this tool. There's clone and there is heal. Clone means to copy and paste pixels. Heal means to copy, paste, and blend. In this case, we want to use heal because we want those pixels to blend. You can adjust the size of your brush, making it smaller with the left bracket key or bigger with the right bracket key. And then you're just going to click and drag over this area. And what's going to happen is Lightroom is going to attempt to make a sample <laughs> that it thinks matches these pixels, but it does not always do a good job. So you can either place your cursor inside of here and move it, or you can also press a little known keyboard shortcut, which is the forward slash key. You can press the forward slash key several times and Lightroom will jump around attempting to find a better source, but it did not. So I'm going to click and drag this source over to this area, which is just below under her eyes. I'm going to perform the same maneuver on her other eye. And again, Lightroom did not grab a good sample, so just click and move that. Now, there are a few things you'll want to note here. Feather does matter. You'll probably want to keep this feather a little bit on the high side in order to make sure that those pixels are blending properly. And then there's also opacity. Typically, when I am correcting under eye issues, I am not leaving the opacity at 100, but I am reducing it so that it looks a little more natural. Let's zoom out, press Q to drop that tool and look at the before and after. And I think that looks pretty good. I honestly don't like to remove it much more than that because I think it starts to look unnatural. So please be careful. Let's take a look at another example. And before I work on this image, I'm just going to apply Susie's favorite preset because I know it's going to make it look beautiful. A few minor tweaks and we'll look at the before and after. That looks great. Let's zoom in with a command or control plus spacebar in order to access the pan tool. Just move that over a little bit. Let's make this brush smaller with the left bracket key and brush over this area. Again, Lightroom is picking a poor sample, so I will move that sample to this area. I notice that my opacity is at 100. That is not what I wish to happen, so I'll reduce that. Now I'm going to click and drag under this eye and move that source node over to here. Q in order to drop this tool. Let's look at the before and after. I think to accurately look at it, you need to zoom out before and after. That looks pretty good. You'll notice I kept some of the shadows under the eyes. If you remove it, completely. It will not look natural. Now in the next video, we're going to remove the under eye shadows using Photoshop and then compare the two. I'll see you then.